I am here, I am here, I am here, and it is well. It is well, it is well, it is well, it is well with my soul. I am so excited to be releasing this word, and I've been here, I've been um, recording videos, I haven't been uploading videos, so I pray everyone has been having a good holiday season. We are literally 48, less than 48 hours into crossing over into... 2020 and I am just excited. I am excited about what the 2020 is going to hold. Um, I don't want to make this a long video, but there is a lot that I want to say. So first of all, we have this premonition that when we, when a new year um, comes that somehow a lot of stuff is just going to automatically change and that is not necessarily the case, right? If you are fat in 2019 and you don't lose weight when the clock strike midnight you're going to be fat in 2020 right but this is what i want to say this is what i want to say there is something waiting for us in 2020 oh glory to god that's what i'm excited about 2020 is a destination all by itself 2020 is a destination all by itself so it is just like you are um living in Atlanta like you're living in Atlanta and you are going to Florida for um, the holiday right and you know that as you're leaving Atlanta right it's 60 degrees but you know waiting for you in Miami is 80 degree weather you know that even though you're in the same clothes and the same car the same body there is something different that's waiting for you in Miami right and that is what is happening for us in 2020. Um, this, I am excited that God did actually give me a word for 2020. Um, and it's not anything that I really know that God said to me to release corporately, but it is an exciting word. It is an exciting word. And the reason I am on here though, is for something specific. So God had been talking to me about um just a lot of stuff that is going on um right now just as we get ready to cross over into our new destination right and so god was talking to me and and i've been i've been teaching you guys that this has not been the hour to be in our prayer closet and rebuking and god has not been talking to me a lot about warfare but in the past couple of nights, um, I have been having some dreams about some demonic opposition. I have been dreaming about stuff and I just wasn't clear on what it, you know, meant. God had been talking to me even as I, you know, God just been saying a lot to me. But this is what I want to get out to you. This is the word that I want to release. And that is to push back. That is to push back. And let me tell you why that word resonates with me so as i was spending time in worship with god and praying about you know some of what god was talking about i heard god say that word to me and i'd never heard god say that word to me i'd never heard specifically the holy ghost say push back and so i started to uh look up that word and there's so many exciting synonyms for pushback one of them being resist rebuke those are all synonyms for the word pushback but what really excited me is that i was listening to some other prophetic voices on youtube and they were just preaching and on three separate occasions i heard the word pushback now the message wasn't about the word pushback, but I heard the word pushback and that excited me because I knew God was talking to me. I knew God was saying something to me. So I started to really get and talk to God about pushback. And so what God was saying to me, and I want to reference a specific scripture that is going to talk a little bit about pushback, right? And again, right? We are, oh, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Let me tell you something. These sneaky spirits and mindsets and demonic opposite, they're not coming into 2020 with us. They're not coming into 2020 with us. And you need to push back. You need to, you need to push back on that stuff. You need to, at the name of Jesus, decree and declare, no, no. 
out of your mouth, you need to decree and declare that you push back against all of the lies of the enemy. You push back against the, the wrong mindset that you know God has processed and delivered you from. I'm delivered from that thing. The, the devil is not making me think that I'm taking that thing into 2020 with me into this new decade. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. The devil is not making me think that I am still dealing with low self-esteem and inferiority and depression and anxiety and pain and sit. No, no, I have accepted my healing. I have accepted my wholeness. I have accepted my wealth. I have accepted it. And even if people of God, even if it has not fully manifested on the earth we have accepted it and we push back against any contradictory lie that would say otherwise we push back against any contradictory lie that would say otherwise i have been talking to you about getting your baskets ready i have been talking to you about staying on the field i have been talking to you about all of that and at the name of jesus that word still stands that word still stands we are not giving in to the lies of the enemy we are not believing that we have in no listen by his stripes we are healed we are healed beloved i wish above all that thou would prosper and be in good health even as thy soul prospers we are not giving in push back let me tell you i had and it was something in particular that I was believing for. And there was just this, and this is this is really what I want you to push back on. I want to push back on that little, that little nemesing lie that keeps trying to come back. That's saying, you know, you're really not going to have this thing. You're really not going to have that little reoccurring lie, right? If you've been dealing with something in particular, if you're prone to depression, if you if you've been dealing with a particular sickness, if you've been struggling with lack in your life, and the enemy has want want you to think the enemy wants you to think that thing is not over that thing is still here that in particular people of God is what you need to push back on that thing in particular is what you need to tell the devil you're a liar you're a liar. and listen you you're not you're not gonna just scream and shout you're a liar you're gonna back it up with scripture you're gonna back it up with scripture right that is why you need to get the word of God in your mouth and that is what God was telling me to push back on um, something you know that I struggle with um, that I've struggled with in the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Ghost, that I am completely delivered from is rejection. So there are moments when I am in a relationship, um, and it could be, it could be a friendship. It could be a friendship. And, you know, um, but particularly this particular attack was with a relationship that I'm in. And, um, I wasn't hearing from the person and I had, I had said something that, you know, was my truth. And I was thinking, okay, well maybe, you know, um, I upset him and he doesn't want to talk anymore. And that's what the enemy was saying. The enemy was saying, oh, you messed up. He doesn't like you anymore. Just like everybody else, he's up and gone, you know? And so all of that old stuff comes back, right? All of that old stuff comes back. And now I'm, you know, trying to the enemy is trying to attack me with all of this old stuff and i'm just and god is telling me push back on that lie push back on that lie and this is why i particularly want to talk about this right because and this this, this is what really resonates with me so i want to read to you from ephesians 2 and 2 from the passion translation it wasn't that long ago that you lived in the religion, custom, and values of this world, obeying the dark ruler of the earthly realm who fills the atmosphere with his authority and works diligently in the heart of those who are obedient to the truth of God. Let me tell you something, right? This, this, this passage of scripture says that the enemy fills the atmosphere with his authority. There are going to be people, right, that are not as yielded and is not pressed into God as we are, right? It's going to be bosses. It's going to be friends. It's going to be families. It's going to be loved ones, right? And they are going to, they are going to hurt. They're, we're, none of us are perfect, right? None of us are perfect. And so they may say the wrong thing and do the wrong thing. And you may have a moment where the enemy is like, see, that thing's not going to happen. That thing's not. If you go to the doctor, right, and God has said you are healed and the doctor says something, the doctor is not sitting here thinking, 
100%, you know, I'm in alignment with what you're agreeing with, with the word of God. The doctor has a job. The doctor has a job and he's saying, listen, I look at this chart and this is what it is, right? So I just want to say that, you know, and, and that, that that scripture blessed me because it said that the atmosphere is filled with the devil's authority. It is filled with the devil's authority. You're going to be in traffic, worshiping, not paying attention and do something wrong and somebody's going to flick you off. You're not going to lose your whole salvation and flick, like, no, no. And that is what I want to talk. I just want to encourage you to push back. I just want to encourage you um, to push back. I feel like I got a little bit like a, a off topic, but I want you to push back against the authority of the enemy that's in the atmosphere because we have authority christ has given us his authority luke 10 and 19 says that for us right so we push back against the enemy's authority with the authority that we have as believers in christ jesus push back against the lie make a decree make a decree spend the next 48 hours decreeing god show me what i need to really make sure is not trying to creep into 2020 with me none of the old mindsets none of the old you know the old customs and religions and habits none of that particularly i just feel it so strongly with mindsets i feel it so strongly with mindsets none of that old crap is allowed to come into 2020 with me god has been processing me since since September of last year and it's been a hard processing it's been a hard processing glory to God for for our our fathers in faith like Abraham and Joseph who spent years in the wilderness because let me tell you these last I don't know is this 19 however many months this is 20 months it it about took your girl out so glory to God for people that have been in the wilderness for years for years because this has been a hard processing time this has been a hard processing time it's been you know and I'm not taking that processing with me in the 2020 right God has processed me I've come out on the other side one of the videos that I, I made was um, just Christmas we were in a beach house in Myrtle Beach and I spent a lot of time just watching the ocean and and water is such a water is just something that really just that's that's me and the Holy Ghost's place right and so it was just a time to hear from God and revel in God's goodness and I am that is the hour that we're in so even though this is a word not necessarily an encouraging word but this is maybe an a word a, a call of action you know I still want us to be encouraged I still want us to know that we've made it and we're on the other side we're on the other side we're doing some light housekeeping we're doing some sweeping up this is this is not nothing that you need to run in your prayer closet about no we are continuing to stay on the field we are listen people of God this is our hour this is our season this is our time and God is faithful God is faithful God is I want you to be encouraged I want you to know that God has good plans for your life plans to prosper you and not to harm you and I want you to understand that we are in the best hour of our life be encouraged be worshiping be exalting be praising God be full of encouragement in the name of Jesus encourage yourself in the Lord and do not let those old mindsets do not let that lie that no you're not gonna have it it's not there you know the, the biggest lie I've ever believed is almost but not quite almost but not quite I'm in a relationship with somebody and it, it, it feels real and, and we're headed and it uh, then, then then something goes wrong almost but not quite I am on my job and I'm doing well and I've gotten promoted but there's so much tension and strain and you know the Bible says that the Lord uh, what is the scripture that says the Lord um, gives gives us wealth and has no sorrow I think that that's so amazing because we look at a lot of people that are wealthy but their lives don't it doesn't look like they're happy right so that's not who God is that's not God, who God is he doesn't he doesn't he's not that type of God right there's no sorrow in this life there's no sorrow in this life. So you, you don't get a partial healing. You don't get partial wholeness. You don't sit here and you're believing God and, and hearing somebody say it. It's all, like, I, like I told you in my last video, I think it's my last video, like we, we've made it, we're in it. It's now, it's now, it's now. 
and you push back on anything that would tell you that it's not. So be encouraged. I am going to upload this video and I am going to uh, attempt to make another one this side of our destination. Um, but if not, I will make one right on the other side of our destination, which is 2020. So be encouraged in the Lord. I love you all and I pray that the Holy Ghost ministers this word to you in a unique and individual way. Be blessed.